Hey guys, Michael for Wizzle, I'm here, and today is another episode of the Crazy Craft 3.0 Let's Play, and this is episode 42. Today we are going to get started up on this rolling machine. I'm pretty sure that we just have to create the hobbyist steam engine. Uh, I do have some tin in this chest here, 23 to be exact, so uh, I actually need two, which is, it's not really much of a problem considering that, uh, well I'll show you guys. Like, I just need to make this tin gear bushing thing, which is made by 410 in that formation, and I get two tin gear bushings, so either way, I'll get two gold plate gears out of that, and then I just need the gold nuggets like that, glass, and the and the, and then the piston, and then the gold ingots around there, so it should be pretty easy to make. Now, I could actually create a, an industrial um, steam engine. It definitely is possible. Oh, okay, I don't even know how to create the steel plates. Anyways, well, we're just going to create a hobby steam engine, the simplest one that there is. So let's just do that right now. Um, so also, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Some uranium nuggets. Look at this, guys. I'm close to getting. I need three more titanium and three more uranium. I'm so close to getting the uh, ultimate bow. I've been mining a little bit as of recent. And uh, yeah, I'm super close to getting it, guys. I'm really excited to see what it has, like the enchantments on this, because these enchantments are already here, so maybe there's going to be some crazy stuff on it, and it's definitely going to help me if, I, if I'm if i able to get this uh, ultimate bow. Uh, my combat fighting skills and all that would be increased greatly, and you guys will see that I could probably uh, destroy a lot more enemies than uh, previously, so yeah. Anyways, guys, so let's just get started. I'm going to need those there. I don't. I, th I think I'm going to actually need two gold ingots. Let's see here. I'm just going to make sure that I don't or do. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some two at least. So then we get the gold plate gears just like that, and then we do the gold nuggets like that, and then we go da da da, and then we need a piece of glass right there, and then a piston there. So I can make the piston here. Yes, I can. Okay. Just wanted to make sure before I get any further. So hopefully this thing actually works out. I haven't really confirmed it if it really does. So if it doesn't, I'm gonna be kind of pissed off, I think. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that it will because it kind of seems like it will be, you know? Like just kind of like looking at the com the rolling machine, it kind of looks like it's suitable for it. So that, like it actually is compatible for it. So. Hopefully that is the case, and then now all I need is the glass. Let's see here, the glass. Where's the glass? Any glass? I don't think I have any glass in here. Oh, I have some sand. That works. That works. Okay. Uh, let's put the sand there, and then that there. Let's just wait for that to go through. So, anyways, let's check up on the, uh, the steel. Man, I just, uh... Really don't like playing on 23 FPS while trying to record. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. So we have a lot of crude oil. Uh, the steel and ingots are actually done. Well, not entirely done. I mean, they still have yet to go because I'm going to need a lot. What? I thought I just went to bed. I guess it went by really fast. We could take the coal coke and then we just can place it right there and that will get up again. Whoa! So yeah, guys, this is going to be one intense project, you know? It's going to take some time. So, also, I'm kind of thinking, I might be, like, making a tower. Yes, you heard that right, a tower. Like, a huge tower. Um, I don't know exactly where it would be located, but it would be located, obviously, fairly close to here. But this tower is going to be pretty big. It's not going to be like some of these buildings that I have here. It's actually going to be pretty big. It's going to be pretty interesting I just don't know exactly how it's going to turn out considering that I just don't have really planned out yet but I'm kind of thinking of making a tower it's going to be somewhat similar or it's going to be kind of related to like you know in the movie the Tony Stark kind of building Iron Man I kind of want to make it somewhat similar to that and then have some like hero stuff up there and kind of have some interesting things so I totally think that this thing would be amazing right this thing would be absolutely insane um like for the tower, like, I'm, I don't really want to be able to, like, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. For when I first make the tower, I'm going to have to have some sort of way to get up there, right? You know, it's going to be 
kind of difficult to get up there considering that it's going to be up so high. I want to have to make it so that I can, like, I have to go up a stairwell. <gasps> Pac-Man? If I only had that bow, the ultimate bow, then I'd go after him. Because I don't know his damage, like, what he's going to do to me. But, guys, yeah, this tower, I'm thinking that it's going to have, like, an automated redstone elevator. Like, it might seem, like, pretty crazy, you know, to kind of have. But... It's definitely possible. Oh god, how does this work? And hopefully it doesn't like have a chance of blowing up. Uh I'm pretty sure so there's a 10 20 degrees. Uh Okay. We made the correct system. That's good. I don't know exactly how this works out though. Like should I have like some pipes? A water pipe would actually be pretty nice. Constant supply of water. No, there's nothing, no sort of pipes. Technical block, really? Well, let's see here. T pipe? Any pipe? There's lead pipe? Pipe wrench? Toilet pipe? Are you kidding me? There's a toilet pipe. Doesn't seem to be the case. So we have to fill this up with water continuously. Which is definitely a hassle, you know? Might as well take like three buckets of water. What? I thought that was like a cat there, Ocelot. Okay. And yeah, when you look at that, Pac-Man's gone already. That's really annoying. So this building, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about it. Like, that would be so cool to have. So cool. Although it would be kind of difficult to do. Well, maybe not that difficult, but... I just think it would be amazing to have it. Okay, so... I'm assuming that I just have to place coal into here, okay? I place about, like... 32? I don't know how much I really need. 32 will work. So then steam will build up. So really, I just think I need to create a lever. Mr. Lever, where are you? He's going to be coming soon. Right there, Mr. Lever. Place the lever right there. And it's working. Should be working. It looks like it's working. Oh, okay. So now it's getting... Now it's getting warm. 60, how is it like up to 60 degrees Celsius or whatever? That's, it's like gaining temperature like crazy. So any steam, no steam's actually being made right now. How does this thing work out? Like, oh, there we go. Now it's moving. What? And so it has to get to a certain temperature and then it'll start working out. So let's see here. That will do that. Oh, okay. So I kind of have to have it so that it like is already automated in. That's kind of sucky, you know? It's actually really annoying. But, like, I'm a little worried also to, uh, like, just kind of worrying about if it's going to explode. Because if it explodes, then I'm going to have to repair some, actually, quite a lot of stuff down in here. So maybe I'll just grab some more water and then, like, fill it up eventually. I mean, I maybe shouldn't be too worried, but I don't know. I just don't know exactly what's going to happen. So I just kind of want to be cautious before everything gets out of hand. So I guess, yeah, as it gets hotter, right, it's going to produce more energy kind of looks like oh man this is going to take such a long time guys this process is unbelievable I just cannot believe it's taking so long just to create rails right just minecart tracks minecart tracks that's all I need minecart tracks is all I need and I'm having to go through this process of like creating a rolling machine the blast furnace, the coke oven. Guys, this is unbelievable. Why did Railcraft even be put into this? Like, can I just have it like such a uh, simple process? But here we go. Let's see. I'm going to check this out. Minecart tray. Okay. Apparently, that's not an option. 
see your tracks. I think it's just or track. It's just track. I think it is, but we need booster tracks as well. So that it requires an advanced rail. Kind of have to look up how that's going to be made again, but here is how we make it. So I mean, it's kind of easy. Okay, I just exit out of there. So we just need 60 of these, right? We're just going to get 6 of those. And we're getting 16 of these. Oh, we already have 16. Sweet. So, yeah, let's see here. Uh, dude, it might be getting... This is getting tons of energy if I'm seeing this right. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be getting for 16, so we'll, 6 of those will already give us 32. So, I mean, it's going to be pretty easy once we get all this stuff done. Like, 32 now. I probably already almost have 100 tracks already laid down for me. So, it's... As soon as we just get everything done, then you guys will realize, like, this is going to actually go pretty fast. And actually, I'm going to realize that as well. So, glad that that's working out perfectly and that I get actually a large amount, large amount, <laughs> of uh, tracks from this so that's excellent that is very good now okay here is what I want to do I want to see I want to make a first our very first Let's see that's the thing we need creosote as well <laughs> I want to make our very first uh, oh, I can just put it in like that no it just kinda just no I guess it actually went through but it, like yeah okay here is I'm going to make our very first set of tracks. This is what I'm going to do. Going to grab some creosote oil. Uh, okay, that just works out perfectly. It's not expecting that to happen, but okay. Uh, put some more in there. Take the coal coke. Put it there. We don't need the dirt. Dude, this setup here is actually pretty cool, I think, you know. I like the coal coke uh, oven, the coal oven, or coke oven over here. I like this setup better over than that one. I don't know, it just kind of like suits it a little bit more and better. Okay, let's see here. Let's head back down so the no, 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 I need to actually uh, be up here. So we need to create wooden ties. So I just need to create some oak wood slabs. And I just only get one from this? Are you serious? Like... By doing only one of this, I only get one wooden tie. That's kind of dumb. That is actually pretty dumb. So really, after these three buckets, I'm going to begin only one set of tracks. That's so poop. So crap, actually. But then I can do it like that. We got our wooden rail bed. And then we just do this. Boom. Finally. We get our first set of tracks. That took too long. That took way too long, you know? Way too long. I don't know how long this is going to be going for, or should be going for. Like, is it... It's not going through. Well, there we go. Dude, that's going so fast. Holy crap, 5,000. Just like that. And I guess we can just turn it off. So, I have 26 remaining. No, I have a lot more. I have, uh, is that right? 90? I have 90 standard rails. So that is going to be actually a lot of rails that are going to be produced here. So let's get some rails produced. Let's get this going. And dude, I wish, I honestly wish that this could just stop lagging. Oh, man. I've got a creeper, skeleton. Gotta bring him away from this stuff. Get over here. If you want to shoot me, skeleton, your best option is to kind of come over here. His sword is so OP, that is for sure. So strong. Wow. So good. So good. And how is he, how is the skeleton not on fire? I guess he is, actually. He was under the tree. So I just didn't realize it. So now it's time to get some more. Creosote oil. Boom, boom, bu, bu, oh. Okay, I was like, why is it not going through? That is because my inventory is absolutely full. Need to figure out some things to get rid of. 
Uh, da -da -da. Sapphire could be useful. String could be useful. Steel is definitely useful. I need that. Sticks can get rid of. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Look at that. So let's see how much. No, that's. Did I. What? What happened? I don't even know what happened. I have tons of creosote oil remaining, so that is actually pretty good. What happened with that water bucket? I don't recall ever filling it up. It just all of a sudden filled up. So I have to refill it up, or empty it out actually, and just fill that up. Okay. We have another set of tracks coming in. This is what I'm... No, actually, I don't have enough. I need four buckets. Four buckets of creosote oil. Just realized that. I was like, wait a minute, I just need one more set. But it, this process, it is really sucky. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is horrible. Horrible. Having to take creosote, like, how much am I taking for this? I mean, I'm taking about like 1,000, which isn't that much. But when I have to go back and forth, placing creosote oil in a bucket, creating uh, slabs, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Not fun at all. It's really, uh... Saddening having to go back and forth and doing all this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it is pretty bad. But... I guess it's good that I get a lot of tracks out of it. But it's only like twice the amount, you know? Like, if I were to be able to create it the, own, old, uh, the original way... Like... It just wouldn't require as much. Here we go. I mean, okay, I was like, why is it not going through? But 64. 64 tracks after that. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's where the creosote bucket went. Gosh dang it. And, you know, I, let's see here. I'm actually... I'm going to check out how to make the advanced rails. Because, obviously, we need those. So, I just want to make sure that I know the correct way how to make these. So, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I know how to make the advanced rail. It's actually a little bit, uh, or why did I say bit? It's a little bit more, uh, there's a little bit more requirement for creating an advanced rail, which obviously sucks, but I'll show you, what is going on? My creosote bucket just emptied out when I clicked right on it. What? No, it just like duplicated. What the crap? Okay, other than that, let's see here. So, Here's what I have to do. I'm going to create another set of uh, slabs, right? I'm going to create a whole new set. So let's do that. And then... There we go. Like I ha I'm going to create this whole new process once again. Show you guys what I need to do. And I do need the redstone as well to power it, so i got to keep that in mind. Um... So we got that. Now, here's what I have to do. I actually have to get some gold. I don't know if this is like cooled down. This is actually like 20 degrees Celsius. But I don't know, is it like filling up into here? No, it's not really. Okay, that's interesting. Let's just turn it back on. Uh, so here's what I have to do. I have to grab three of those, three gold ingots. And let's see here, I just kind of have to do it like this. Da -da -da. Da, 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 da. And then I get my advanced rails. Only eight. Which is not really much of a problem, you know? But I'm gonna see what I get out of this. I don't think it's too much, actually. Uh, actually, I think it's a little bit different. There might have to be redstone at the bottom of this. I'll check it out. Yeah, I think it's redstone. Yeah, there we go. So we get 16 booster tracks. So it's kind of half of what I get from the original stuff, which I guess is not much of a problem. But hey, I at least have 80, 80 tracks now. That's actually a pretty good amount. That's probably all the way down that slope. And then a little bit on further. Okay, so that's pretty good actually. So guys, that's good. I'm going to do this fully off screen. I'm not going to show you guys me creating all these tracks. Because it's just going to be obviously annoying. But actually, I kind of want to do these and actually place these tracks before I wrap up this video for you guys. So I'm going to do that actually right now. Might not have enough redstone. I might have to grab I'm gonna grab enough so that it there's like sixteen to fit it all together, you know? 
Uh, let's see here. There we are. And I don't have any sticks, apparently. Where the crap did all those go? Uh, they're all in my bottom inventory. You've got to be kidding me. I'm blind. Blind as bad. Okay, there we go. So then we have enough. So. So here, let's just head over here, guys. Let's head over to the cave system. I really need to fix this up. Need to place some more grass and dirt all over the place. So, let's see. I do actually want to have some regular stone. That's going to be an issue, I suppose. I'm going to have it so that it's like this. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to have some stone. I'm going to replace this a little bit, actually. So, let's see here. I'm going to have it so that it's like this. I don't really necessarily think I'll be needing booster tracks up here. So actually I'll place two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then do it again. I don't know if I'm using too many booster tracks, but the more the better I guess, considering if I go uphill. Uh, you know, if I don't have enough, then that will be better. I think I'm placing too much. Definitely think I'm placing too much. It's four, five, six, seven, and then boom. And then we could just do like that. And then we could go a little bit further over here. I don't know how much I'm going to be needing over here. Or how much is really required. Definitely should have a track to like boost and test it out. I think... Actually, let's do it like... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This pickaxe is too strong. Um... I guess we could just do it like that. Oh, crush. Uh, uh, and sort of like that. I guess we'll just place it there once we have that figured out. But guys, that is the track. That is the beginning of the track. Pretty cool. I'll finish it off fully off screen. Guys, this is what I've been wanting to do for like 12 episodes. Finally been able to do it, guys. Unbelievable. Amazing, amazing. But guys, that's about that for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. I right, will see you guys all in the next one. So, yes. Goodbye.